Hello guys, this is Vaish. So today is uh, May 12th and uh, because it's a Friday, we will discuss science MCQs. Okay, so please uh, see every single episode. Every teacher is uh, trying to teach you a lot of questions including CSAT and comprehension passages and uh, uh, current affairs, art and culture. Everything is being covered. If you are new to this channel, uh, just WhatsApp me. Then I will tell you how to start the preparation from home itself and then unlimited lectures also you can watch uh, which is completely uh, free okay every week there is like a polity history geography economy everything is being done okay most of the textbooks are al already completed so if you are new you may not uh, uh, be knowing it okay so question number one which of the following are true about loitering munitions they are a mix of surface to surface missile and a drone india successfully test fired three made in india loitering munitions in uh, ladakh one only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. So this is all latest current affairs, it's not like randomly taken. So here the answer is C, both one and two. India has uh, tested three of them uh, recently uh, in April month, I think that is why this question is formed. So this is a category of weapon system, the main elements of which are a unmanned platform uh, with a warhead. Okay, so there is a mix of uh, surface to surface missile and a uh, drone okay so how it works and all that is not important for prelims but uh, here you can uh, read uh, that part okay so here if you see the news india successfully test fired three made in india loitering munitions in ladakh and this one if you see newly developed this one is lm0 lm1 and hexacopter tested in nubra valley about nubra valley already prelims uh, geography question map question has come so this is uh, again if you see earlier and all india used to uh, import okay import from israel and poland and all so now this made in india version is actually cheaper 40 percent cheaper than how we uh, 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 import it okay and then uh, we have again army has placed a request of 150 more of these uh, munitions that is a uh, canister launched anti-armor loiter munition that is what they call this the calm system so you basically can ask that way also calm system that is actually this this thing the same thing only okay so that one uh, india will be indian army will be uh, making it, meaning made in india thing will be acquired instead of the uh, imported one and this is uh, uh, used in the other conflicts also so if you have to know that uh, what are the things which are in uh, usage by indian army you have to follow news okay because there will be many things which you buy hard from static textbooks and all later you will come to know that that has been like stopped usage or maybe we have uh, up upgraded it such things will happen okay so india already uses the israelis uh, harrop loitering munition and in september 2021 placed an order for 100 explosive laden sky strikers capable of long range tactical strikes okay from bangalore headquartered firm so like this a uh, lot of things okay give and take will be there in different countries and within india itself so these things you have to make a note and that you will get only through current affair okay you will not get it from science textbooks you will get it from current affairs now question number two which of the following are true about chagas disease okay so april uh, 14th or 13th i think it is uh, this world chagas uh, day so that is why this question is formed the very first case globally was detected in an Indian girl child. The, discuss, the disease is caused by a parasite. This disease has been increasingly detected in India, Pakistan and other South Asian and Southeast Asian nations. Options are 1, 3 only, 2 only, 2, 3 only, 1, 2, 3. So this one again, uh, if you have never heard about it, that means you are not reading your newspapers or you are not following a good current affair magazine because it comes every uh, now and then. Okay. So here the answer will be B, that is two only. It is caused by a parasite, but it's not caused uh, in an Indian girl for the first time and it is not uh, in these countries. Okay, it is more of in the western side uh, that this disease happens. Okay, in April uh, 14, 2020, this day was first observed, World Chagas Day. Like this World Tuberculosis Day will be there, World Malaria Day will be there. Like the different days are there, which WHO will declare. Okay, so this uh, was chosen because in 1990 on this date, the first case was reported in a Brazilian girl. Okay. And here, if you see, it is caused by a parasite, which, which name is this thing. And uh, this is also called, uh, the see, triatomin bug or the kissing bug. And this is transmitted to humans. And it is not uh, in India, Southeast Asia and all. It is more prone in the uh, Mexico, Central America, South America. So Western part of the global map, uh, that is where these things are more uh, uh, prevalent. Okay. So this is increasingly treated in USA, Canada and some Western Pacific and European countries. Question number three. Which of the following are false about human immunodeficiency virus or HIV? It is grouped to the genus Lentivirus within the family of Retroviridae. HIV can be transmitted only through a sexual relation with an infected man or woman. Options are both 1 and 2, neither 1 or 2, 1 only, 2 only.
So here the answer will be answer will be D two only because it's asking for false. It's asking which of the following are false. So it is not like only through this thing because from an infected mother it can go to the child also, and that is one of the statement which UPSC already asked. Okay, so that is why two is the false statement, and the first one the uh, family of virus that is uh, correct. Okay, as you can see, genus L T virus. The family is this one. The sub family is this one. So this and all just a uh, you should remember. Okay, and there are two types: HIV one and HIV two also, and uh, uh, in humans, this is the human types. Okay, there are many other types also. And then here, if you see, this uh, is a sexually transmitted infection, but non-sexual transmission from infected mother to infant is possible during uh, pregnancy. Okay, because of uh, fluids exchange between the mother and the child. Okay. <clears throat> Question number four: Synthetic biology find its applications in developing vaccines, treatment of malaria, fashion industry, nitrogen fixation in plants. So one three only two three four only one two three four one two only. <clears throat> so these kind of questions, ninety nine percentage of the time it will be one two three four all the above, and in this case also it is one two three four. Okay, because application times every time every year one question used to come. Nowadays they are making it a little difficult, but still uh, there is a high chance that all the above will be true. So here if you see in vaccination and in making this uh, vanillin uh, product, then. Uh, in uh, different therapies and all it's used treatment of malaria fashion industry fix uh, nitrogen to plants okay you know uh, nitrogen fixation is very important for plants because it cannot take atmospheric nitrogen so that uh, in that process also companies are considering the usages of synthetic biology to engineer microbes and other things okay which can uh, help in this uh, fixation question number 5 which of the following are true about fast radio burst frb FRB was first detected in 1990s. The burst creates a spectrum of radio waves. Bursts at higher radio frequencies arriving at telescopes earlier than those at lower frequencies. It's not arriving, arrives at telescopes earlier than those at lower frequency. 1, 2, 3, 2 only, 2, 3 only, none of these. So here again, timeline always. Uh, UPSC also gives it wrong. Whoever designed test series, they also will give it wrong. So it is not in the 90s. That is why answer is 2, 3 only. Statement 1 is wrong. It was first detected in 2007. In the form of spectrum of radio waves, it will be there. And the burst at higher radio frequency arrive at telescopes earlier than those of the lower frequencies. Okay. So earlier than, that is why answer is like 2 and 3. Both 2 and 3 are correct. Okay. So here, this uh, detection and all, it is like... Uh, we have a research which is uh, chime research okay so this is done by a radio telescope and no moving parts so here they will scan and uh, find out okay these uh, waves and all these things so the changes in the uh, radio frequencies the magnetic fields all these things they can detect and that is how they find out the uh, fast radio burst the remaining theory part for mains you can read from here so all these as i told is from april current affair so april current affair if you enroll that is this pack 12 till may you have this so this one will help you solve these kind of questions and if you're new to preparation i will tell you don't enroll to test series from any institute now you can watch the foundation which we'll give you in our uh, whatsapp when you come and contact and you can solve the previous year questions also because that will give you an idea of how to prepare for this exam and finally 100 plus marks easily in your very first attempt you can score okay so whatsapp me and then we'll tell you how to take it forward